Hello everyone and welcome back to The Frame Channel. One of the major advancements in the evolution of human writing is the production of fountain pens. A significant advancement was made in the 19th century when Waterman's pen was perfected as a dipping pen without the need for an external ink bottle. Realizing the dream of having a self-feeding pen that didn't need sharpening. Although the majority of these pens are still created by hand, automated methods have currently transformed the manufacturing process. The automation process involves the use of dedicated machines to mold the pen barrels, usually from molten plastic. Additionally, the functionality of machines is used in metal component crimping, stamping, and ink cartridge installation. The product can be assembled, polished, and cleaned with the aid of an automation process. Every pen that's manufactured is inked up and tested to ensure it is writing properly before hitting the market. The Japanese also have an interesting method of producing these pens through traditional craftsmanship. Using a variety of materials such as celluloid, ebonite, and water buffalo horns. They cut these materials into shape and water buffalo horns and celluloid are combined to form the barrel. The barrel is modified to carve the grooves for the screw and the tip of the pen. And the cap is nicely fashioned out. The nib is attached and the craftsman tests the working condition of the pen. Chances are that you have been captivated in the past by some aesthetic drawings that are made effortlessly by an artist. Neat letter writings and book recordings that make bookkeeping an endeared profession. And sophisticated signatures of important documents that ooze some sense of confidentiality and relevance. The backdrop of these beauties lies in the use of fountain ink pens, which are highly customizable and can be used with minimal pressure, making them an excellent choice for those who do a lot of writing. The three essential parts of a fountain pen are the nib, or the point, the barrel, which houses the ink reservoir, and the cap, which is designed to fit over the pen nib to shield it from damage with the ink moving at a balanced flow rate from the reservoir to the nib through capillary action. Fountain pen's usage goes beyond this earth and into space. NASA astronauts learned in the middle of the 20th century that their pen could not function in zero gravity. To solve the problem, they created the Space Pen, a wonder pen. It can function horizontally, in a vacuum, and in zero gravity. It operated in a wide variety of temperatures, at any angle, over wet and oily paper, and even underwater. But the Fisher Space Pen is incredibly pricey and is arguably the most expensive pen ever made. Unlike the traditional ballpoint pens, the space pen's ink does not rely on gravity to flow toward the tip. Instead, it employs a pressurized nitrogen ink cartridge. It can write in almost any situation for far longer periods of time. This fixes several issues with fountain pens, which might leak if they are dropped or exposed to extreme pressure or temperature fluctuations. The production process of space pens is quite an intriguing one. In order to push the ink toward the writing point, a white plastic ball known as the float is inserted into the pen's refill, which is an empty brass tube. The writing tip is attached after a machine has pumped ink into the tube. 
It has a cavity that contains a tungsten ball, while a high-pressure nitrogen gas is sucked in at the other end of the tube. The tube is then sealed with an adhesive and with a hollow brass plug. The pen can be chrome-plated for corrosion resistance and aesthetics. Other finishing touches are applied, and the pen is ready for use. Instead of relying on gravity or capillary action, as is the case with conventional ballpoint pens, the gas pressure continuously pushes the ink toward the ball of the writing tip. Over the years, fountain pens have had a common and reliable presence in the market. The value of any pen depends on several factors, such as the market price, the production year, the nib type, whether it is gold or not, the pen brand, and the general condition of the pen. Mint pens, which are in the best condition, are generally more expensive than used pens with a good nib. When pens are in bad condition, they can only be used by fountain pen restorers for parts. Their value reduces drastically. The market value of these pens can range from $5 for used parts to $300 for mint pens. For several reasons, fountain pens are gaining more popularity in recent years and are making a comeback in the digital world. For starters, contemporary fountain pens do not leak like the old pens, making them risk-free to transport. They can be used with minimal pressure and are a great choice for those who write a lot or those that experience pain while writing. Writing with a fountain pen is much easier than using a ballpoint pen, which requires downward pressure to force the ink out. They are built to provide premium writing experience and have a comfortable grip. They are made differently from disposable pens and do not contribute to global waste, making them eco-friendly. This is because they are durable and have long service lives with the occasional refill of the ink also making them an excellent economical option. Despite the proliferation of the touchscreen and other electronic writing methods, the pen business continues to maintain a steady growth over the years. The global luxury pens market, which was valued at about $2.33 billion in 2018, grew at a compound annual growth rate of 5% to reach $3.28 billion by 2021. Finally, notwithstanding the cost of some of these beautiful writing materials, nothing beats having a customizable pen that makes your handwriting a lot easier, neater, and better. That's the end of today's feature on the frame. Subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video.